your unique story, our global audience, Global One Media. Well, thank you so much for tuning into our Stocks to Watch series as we bring you exciting, informative, and innovative stories from company executives globally. I'm your host, Ashley Berry, and today we're welcoming Brian Peish Braga, Chair of Board of Directors at NG Energy. NG Energy is a publicly listed, traded E&P company on a mission to provide a clean and sustainable solution to Colombia's energy needs. They're listed on the TSXV as GASX, and the OT CQB as G-A-S-X-F. Thank you so much for being here, Brian. Happy to be here. Good morning, Ashley. Hello. Good morning. So NG has made several important announcements recently. Perhaps we can start by you sharing more about your mission and vision. Sure. Um, well, I, I maybe take us a step back. Um, NG Energy is a company that I invested in a number of years ago. And um, what I what I liked about the opportunity back then was uh, was a was a few things. So one was um, they were filling a really important gap that is upcoming in Colombia in uh, in Latin America, um, where the the country is is facing um, you know really a cliff of uh, of of supply coming off. And and consistent demand increasing in in natural gas, which I'm I'm sure you're aware, Ashley, is is being recognized globally as a critical uh, transition fuel. Um, and I think specifically within Colombia, it's a country that relies quite heavily on thermal coal as a as a power uh, source. So um, you know, first and foremost to support a company and a management team that um, saw a economic opportunity uh, with regards to a supply demand imbalance, but specifically, um, you know, helping this country transition and and give their people, over 50 million people, um, you know, uh, energy is is uh is a great place to start um and i guess in many ways that's that's the 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 mission of the company the vision of the company is to become you know quite simply the largest producer of natural gas in uh, in the country and um and that's a vision that i um i'm excited i'm 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 humbled to to continue um and i think over the last Five or six years, the company's done a great job in de-risking um, the assets. Um, I mean, there's been you know over 100 million dollars raised and spent. I think it's it's getting closer to 200 million now, um, and you know we really feel like we're at the precipice of going from a project developer to a uh, a, a company, an organization that is is critical to the to the to the energy transition in Colombia. The second thing that I liked about NG Energy was um, the size of the resources. The size of the resources, you know, it's it's very difficult to find um, assets like these. We've been very fortunate to be successful in, in exploring for gas and and uh, you know delineating what has been delineated today. Um, there's still a long road ahead, but there has been uh, you know world class discoveries made in in NG Energy. Um, specifically on the CNU9 field, which I think is being largely overlooked by the market currently. Um, I don't know if it's uh, if it's the, the the typical summer doldrums or it's a a overall you know risk off um, um, uh, sentiment from from investors. Uh, just as we see interest rates continue to move uh, up across the world, of course. You know the the capital that was um, in more speculative opportunities uh, has has retreated to to you know yielding um, uh, opportunities. You know when 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 central banks are are raising interest rates at the pace they are, it's uh, you know we've got to we've got to work that much harder as as small companies to um, you know explain our our business model to explain. You know why we think we're a a, a valuable proposition for an investor, um, and you know that's part of my my uh, my my mission to 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 do this. But um, 
you know, it, it, it's, it's hard to find, very difficult to find world-class resources. So that's number two. Number three is the company is, has been run by a, a group that has had uh, great success in developing um, oil and gas fields in the country, actually, um, in, in the last uh, couple of decades, the management team was part of, of developing a field that ended up being a, a 300,000 barrel a day plus producer. Um, you know, when, when you think about how, how big that is, uh, in the grand scheme of, of, of even the world, you know, 300,000 barrels a day is in a world that consumes call it somewhere around hundred million barrels a day, you know, on a global perspective, it was 0.3% of global supply. You've got to, you know, from, from a management team that started with zero. So um, I think those are the three reasons that I felt quite compelled and comfortable uh, to get involved. And then I just feel from some of the experience I've had in my career, I think I can lend a, uh, a helping hand to the company at this stage and, and take us through the, the, the next stages of, of the company with, with the with the management team and uh, and the board of directors, the fellow board of directors that are joining me in our announcement. Yes, yes, and you know I really like how you started out, Brian, talking about the critical component here and how important it is, the necessity. Um, also hitting on you know the summer doldrums, but the fact that you're still moving forward, the fact that there's nothing that is going to really stop you from this mission. I also want to congratulate you uh, recently being elected as the new chairman of the board. Fantastic news here. You touched on that. You kind of touched on the story behind you really became involved and the importance of it. Um, maybe we should move a little bit on now to the company assets. I understand that NG Energy has a very diverse portfolio, offering mm -hmm. value at different phases from exploration and development to production. Perhaps mm -hmm. you could kind of give us you know, a, a bird's eye view of what all of this means and uh, the specific uh, specific um, phases that you're working on in production. Sure. Well, there's there's three distinct assets that the company has, um, and you and you you um, articulated it uh, very well. Um, there's there's one asset called Maria Conchita. Maria Conchita is currently producing. Uh, we are the operators of that asset. We own eighty percent of it. And it's currently producing about 7 million cubic feet of gas a day. Mm. Um, so to give you an idea of, of size, um, the entire Colombian market is about a billion cubic feet a day. So at 7 million cubic feet a day, um, you know, we're, we're, we're a relatively small, small producer. Um, but Maria Conchita, uh, the goal of Maria Conchita is to get it up to 20 to 30 million cubic feet a day. Um, and now that's over, over over time. It's an it's an asset that um, is very close to the biggest producing uh, offshore. What was what was the biggest producing offshore field in Colombia? Um, and it's an asset that we know quite well. There's infrastructure, which is very key for natural gas. It's not as as simple as as as, as moving oil. So the only way to really unlock your value in in gas is to is to have infrastructure and have of, of pipelines. So that's all there. Um, and we are currently uh, getting ready to spud um, our third well there, our char three. Um, and um, the the goal with that well is to take us to, uh, as I've said um, <clears throat> previously, is to is to double our production. So if we can if we can get double our production with this next well, we'll be uh, we'll be in a great place. Um, it is our goal to get the company to cash flow positive with that with that well. And then it really dovetails into, you know, the um, the world class discovery. You know, there's no real other way to to, to put it um, in CNU nine, and that was that was last year. Uh, two wells were drilled, um, and those two wells hit uh, hundreds of feet of 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 pay in um, a basin that currently right next door to us is producing almost 200 million cubic feet a day. So if I get back to the BCF of gas a day, the field right next door to us is producing somewhere around 20%, 15 to 20% of all the gas needs for over 50 million people. And when you start to think about the magnitude of that, you know, I think it's what I think it's what maybe the market has is, is been missing is, yeah. is you've got 
uh, an asset that's now been drilled. It's still got a lot of work to do. We've got to develop out, out the field. Um, albeit the, that we've moved quite quickly into, into signing um, uh, agreements with um, specialized infrastructure partners. And this is part of the, um, you know, importance in our approach is we are not relying just on our capital base to continue to get these assets to increased cash flow. At CNU9, we are we we've signed deals with with two of the most prominent um, uh, pipeline um, uh, companies in Colombia, and these <clears throat> essentially work where a company will put up the capex to build these pipelines. You know, these are hundred million dollar plus capital projects. Um, they will they will build it. They will get the permits for it. It's it's a it's a it's a business in and of itself. We don't want to be you know we're not experts at it. We don't pretend to be experts at it. Let them do what they're great at. Let us do what we're great at. What we're uh, what we've been proven to be great at is finding gas. So let's stick to that, and let's allow the 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 uh, pipeline companies to come in and do what they're great at. So at a at a at a CNU nine level, if if we think of Maria Conchita as kind of generating this cash to unlock the value in CNU9. Um, and and that, 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 that's essentially this, this key window in time for us this year is to get our production up to a level of cash flow positive, finalize these pipeline agreements. And then within those two first pipeline agreements, it's almost 100 million cubic feet a day, which would take us as a combined company to somewhere around 10% of, of, of the natural gas needs of the entire country. And it is our goal still to go further from there because we um, we just can't help ourselves. You know, we have ambitions that want to take us closer to that 20% number. Um, and I'll, lastly, I'll, I'll mention two other value drivers that I see. One is um, there has been a previous oil well drilled on CNU9. Mm -hmm. um, and we look very much forward to exploring what may be there. Um, there are some uh, estimates that are uh, very um, attractive, and 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 I look forward to uh, working with the management team to putting a plan together to to explore further um, and and delineate what we may have in oil. And then lastly, I'll mention Tiburon. Uh, Tiburon is another natural gas prospect, and and as you as you articulated at the beginning. There's production, development, and 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 exploration, all key, very key um, things to, to 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 make an oil and gas company successful. Um, and Tiburon really is that blue sky. Um, the target there is is massive, and um, I'm personally very excited um, uh, to 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 drill that. Um, we don't yet have a plan. Um, because we want to make sure that our business is in a in a very healthy uh, position before taking risk like that. Mm -hmm. But the that 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 is the the definition of a high risk, high reward situation. And um, and I look forward to updating the market with time on on our plan to to uh, to go and explore at uh, at Tiburon. Fantastic. And we, of course, wish you the best of luck. So you're talking about Maria Conchita, uh, CNU9, and Tiburon. And where is this exactly uh, in, in Colombia? Are they all in the same place? They're all, they're, no, they're, they're all in different areas. You know, okay. um, yeah, that's helpful. They're all, they're, yeah, they're all in different areas. I mean, you know, on our on our website, we have a, a great video okay. that kind of outlines the 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 map. And I and I um I encourage anyone that's interested in learning more about what we're doing to to go to to go to our website and 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 observe the video that just walks through you know here's the different assets here's what we're doing from a production scenario here's what we're doing from a development perspective and here's what we're doing from an exploration perspective and i think people will be surprised feels like to me to the extent at which we have accomplished um you know really building a a you know, a potential very significant company in Latin America. Um, and 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 I and I want to mention also actually that that I've been involved in, in building a number of companies over the past 15 years. Um, you know, in many ways, Colombia is the start for us. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't want to take away from what we have there because it's significant. 
but uh, our goal is to build a, a major international energy company. And um, I think where I've been been fortunate to 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 be able to surround um, a mission and a vision and 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 a starting group of assets with um, the right people that will that will help us, you know, in in our in our journey to to finding opportunities outside of Colombia. Mm. And how do we, um, you know, how do we uh, leverage off of this 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 production base? And I think it's worth mentioning, you know, many investors may be that that have experienced investing in in, in oil and gas companies. Um, you know, sometimes they can be quite volatile, um, and that may be the nature of of the oil business. What is so unique in Colombia in the natural gas business is the pricing has been very stable over many years now, and even to compare the natural gas pricing in the United States under Henry Hub or, or in Canada under ACO, very volatile, um, uh, you know, price swings. In Colombia, they don't have that. You know, it's a very stable four, five, six dollar per million uh, million BTU pricing. Um, and why we like that as a as a start is once you start to bring these assets online, they, they really are cash cows. You know, they really are amazing businesses we're providing cleaner fuel transition fuel for the country and these aren't businesses that you know like in in i've got quite a bit of experience in mining you know the mining business is 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 a good business but it's but it's a it's a capex heavy it's a lower margin type business there are windows in time in the mining business where um there's great price moves and the commodity price and they can become you know they, they generate a lot of a lot of cash but you know, this is a business that actually, in the natural gas space, specifically in Colombia, with a stable pricing environment, with long-term contracts, you know, it checks a lot of the boxes where an investor can say, "Okay, I, I can see a path to generating a lot of free cash flow." At the end of the day, we've got to generate free cash flow and reward our shareholders, and and that's what we that's what we endeavor to do. So, Brian, I really like that you mentioned the video. You know, going to your website so that folks can really get a sense of of what it looks like, uh, where the location is, really how it operates. Um, for those that may just be listening and not watching, uh, the website is ngenergyintl.com. Um, Brian, you know, just interested to hear, you know, what gets you most excited? You talked about being excited about this. Um, you know, when you wake up every day, you know, what gets you excited and how do you get others excited to say, invest in your mission? Sure. Well, I'll mention that, you know, um, myself and my family also led the last two financings, which in, in total um, have been uh, uh, about 70, $70 million. And so I'm aligned with investors, you know, and, and uh, what gets me excited is I just think we're at the very early stages of building a great company. And I think the discoveries that we've made have been largely overlooked. Mm -hmm. And for me to get up every day and know that we are producing gas a transition fuel for Colombians, um, that that brings me great joy. What gets me really excited as an investor is we've just scratched the surface of what I think we will find at CNU9. Um, again, that's both on a gas side. We've drilled two wells, you know, two wells. I mean, on a field that should have 20 plus wells on it and is adjacent to the largest producing field in the country. So, I mean, even when I just remind myself of that, how can one not be excited? Mm. Um, secondly, as I mentioned earlier, there's an oil, there's a, a previously drilled oil well that that intersected oil. You know, I can't wait to follow up on that. Um, and then lastly, on Tiburon, you know, I don't think you get many shots like this, you know, in life where you have an opportunity to, you know, make CNU9 even potentially look, you know, smaller. I mean, it's, it's, it's remarkable. So um, I think this is a testament to the, to the group of people that came around this company um, and, and started it, you know, seven years ago now. I, I think it's also worth mentioning that these concessions were picked up at a very um, tough time in the oil business. So 
these concessions wouldn't be available today. You know, that's the other thing is, is, is you, you can't just find these anywhere, you know, combine that with a team that knows how to operate in the country, combine that with now capital to get, you know, with it, with, uh, with, uh, with some luck at RHR to cash flow positive and really start to unlock, you know, the, the value uh, that we have. Um, it's a very compelling, it's a very compelling opportunity that I, I'm very excited to be involved with. And um, I haven't been a chairman for a couple of years now. So it's, uh, it's always a great challenge. Uh, it's always a lot of fun. Um, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to, to, to the journey with, um, with all of our shareholders, all of our stakeholders, um, and, uh, and, and the management team and the, and my fellow board members. I want to mention our fellow board members, you know, I don't know if this has gotten maybe lost in the noise as well, but, um, you know, on our board, we have both the ex head of OPEC, you know, that is OPEC, which is, um, you know, represents the largest amount of supply of oil in the entire world. Um, this um, a gentleman is is on our board, and then we've just brought on a um, a lovely lady from Colombia, uh, who is the head of the gas association for the entire country. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And why these are such important, you know, um, outside of the obvious, but you know, we are an oil and gas company. So what what do we need to you know what do we need to be aware of? The head of the gas association for the entire country, you know, check. And as we endeavor to build an international EMP company, um, and you know, to, to have the ex the ex president of OPEC, um, you know, the amount of doors that that that, that he opens is is remarkable. So, um, yeah, I think you get all of this in in a in a in a small company that's got, I don't know, somewhere around one hundred and fifty million dollar enterprise value. It's um, it's it's remarkable for what 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 we have and 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 our ambitions and where we're where we're going. Sounds like a terrific team leading a very critical charge. Brian mm-hmm. Pesh Braga, Chair and Board of Directors at NG Energy. Thank you so much for your time and for sharing your really important mission. And we look forward to following your journey ahead. Thank you so much. 